Different terminology has been applied to identify the study of this discipline. For example, you may have heard of the new computing learning area that is being introduced in England, or the use of the term computer science or software engineering in the US or in our universities. In Europe, they commonly use the term informatics. You may have also heard the phrases computational thinking or even ICT being used in curriculum discussions. In the national curriculum, Australia introduces this learning area as the digital technologies and the New South Wales Board of Studies calls this area the technology learning area. While this may appear confusing, many of the terms are all referring to the same discipline. In this course, we will talk about digital technologies and computational thinking. Depending on the age group of your class, you might even discuss with your students how different terminology is used to describe this learning area. You could even relate this to something else that has multiple names to identify the object, for example, synonyms in literacy looking at dictionaries and online dictionaries. Computational thinking is a problem-solving process, where the goal is to come up with a systematic solution to a problem, analysing the problem and developing a solution that consists of a sequence of defined steps that need to be undertaken to solve the problem. I have applied computational thinking to things I have done and used this morning, or computational thinking concepts have been applied to make things I have used function. Even deciding what I needed to do this morning to get ready for work required a process of gathering data and then a process of sequencing tasks and decisions to be carried out to achieve my end goal. I have applied computational thinking based on the information I received about the weather. I made a decision about what clothing to wear today. If there was a chance of rain, I would have taken an umbrella, but because there was no chance of rain, I didn't take my umbrella today. The kettle gathered data about the temperature of the water to determine the temperature and when it has reached the required temperature to know when to switch itself off. The traffic lights I used are based on the principles of queuing management theory as well as the bus schedule so that there are no unnecessary clashes and everywhere is covered. Computational thinking is all around us and as we go through this course you will see that computational thinking or the analysis and development of systematic solutions to problems are already covered very much in the classes that you address.